Okay, where to start here? Things have gone from stable to completely melted down the last three years by globalist design in Egypt. And I want to go over the latest that's happened there. Our controlled dinosaur media uh, keeps calling it a protest. Oh, there's some protesting. The Muslim Brotherhood is, is protesting uh, the ouster of Mohammed Morrissey and the mean military has shot some of them. And I'm certainly not even taking sides here, but it is the Muslim Brotherhood and Al-Qaeda that if you watch the actual videos pouring out of Egypt, some of them are up on Infowars.com right now. It's guys with shaved heads and beards. That's not just Muslim Brotherhood. That's Wahhabist, Saudi Arabian-backed Al-Qaeda types are grabbing secularists, but also Shiites, Alawites, anybody that can get the Christians and throwing them off roofs, cutting their heads off and beating their brains out. Now, warning, these videos are up on Infowars.com. Warning when you go watch them. But uh, look, I'm told I'm having all my rights taken because of Wahhabist Al-Qaeda, and our government runs these people and won't even call them murderers. They call them protesters, and our criminal government is then criticizing the military of Egypt when they shoot these people, when they're trying. And in fact, I was watching CNN two nights ago, Friday night, and they're like, it's just terrible. The military just shot you know, dozens of people, killing several who were just protesting. So actually go to the foreign press, German press, Egyptian press, you name it. And they're not even taking sides. They report tens of thousands were trying to storm the government facilities and were trying to burn the buildings down. But by the time you see it on our news, it's, oh, there's some sweet little protesters. That's what they said about them in Libya the last few years, engaging in mass murder, premeditatedly brought in by NATO and our criminal mafia-run government. That's what they've been saying for two and a half years in Syria. And, and until a year ago, they called them protesters. So I'm going to be getting into all of that. Jim Mars, who is here in town, uh, Jim Mars, uh, who I ran into yesterday, is going to be in studio with us to cover the waterfront from the NSA scandals to the secret police scandals to a lot of free energy research of real technology like hydrogen that you can take right out of water that they've had for 50 plus years. Well, longer than that, but proven for more than 50 years since the 60s. Uh, we're going to have a report from Mars, little pun there, with Jim for at least the second hour, maybe longer today. He's scheduled to get here around 4.30, so as soon as he gets here, we'll bring him in uh, to the studio. So that's coming up as well. Uh, obviously, we've got the 777 crashing out in San Francisco. Uh, and the aftermath of that, Trayvon Martin. We're going to get into Snowden, says Western states in bed with the NSA. Wow, it's what incredible top secret information. Next, he'll tell me Obama's a big liar and so is Bill Clinton. I mean, next, he'll tell me grass is green. Uh, what, what a horrible traitor. I mean, oh, our national security so violated, he might expose the foreign banks that hijacked the country. Oh, it's horrible. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to cover the waterfront on this live July 7th, 2013 Sunday transmission. I am your host, Alex Jones, and I'm on the radio on my own broadcast six days a week, Monday through Friday, 
11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central during the day. Back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. with a two-hour abbreviated transmission. I am very, very honored uh, to be here talking to you today. I know we have people listening all over the world, not just in the United States or in Canada or in Mexico, here in North America. I am always humbled and completely blown away um, by when I go downtown to jog around the hike and bike trail or I go to Barton Springs, that every other person I walk by is a listener. And that is a real sonar ping, as I call it, not bragging, hey, my show's big, but showing that we're really having a big effect, that if my broadcast, that is just one small part of the worldwide liberty movement, is affecting so many people, uh, it's really incalculable, uncalculable, suddenly having a problem pronouncing these words, it is incalculable. <laughs> Uh, suddenly I'll, I'll be inventing uh, e Ebonics like Jesse Jackson. Very hard to calculate exactly how many actual listeners uh, that we have. And I ran into a guy you know, whose dad's a 70-something-year-old farmer in Iowa, and they say they listen every Sunday. And I, right after I talked to him, I ran into people from Russia that were listeners as I'm trying to walk out of Barton Springs today. And then as I get in the parking lot, uh, I run into somebody who's visiting from Kansas who's a listener. I mean, it's not just people in, in Austin, Texas. And then I, some guy couldn't start his car, so I went to help jump his car, and he goes, wow, thank you, Alex Jones. So again, I'm not bragging, hey, my broadcast is big. I'm telling you there's hope out there. People are really waking up. Now, best-selling author, longtime journalist, professor, uh, history professor, former crime reporter for the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, Jim Mars is going to be in studio in the next hour today to cover the waterfront. But he just came back from a big uh, alternative energy meeting put on by Trammell Crow's son, and he saw it demonstrated uh, machines off the shelf that can power your house off of hydrogen right now. And folks, you don't just grab hydrogen out of the air. It's one of the most plentiful gases in the atmosphere. It comes right out of water. And so this is a big, big deal. This is not pie in the sky. This is not uh, you know, questionable zero point stuff. We're gonna be talking about that and a lot more with Jim Mars. Uh, no protest is allowed. Uh, at the 50th anniversary of Kennedy assassination. And by protest, they said no one is allowed in Dealey Plaza, the park, the public park, only uh, the government with the official story. And then the Dallas police said, by the way, this is in the newspaper, the Dallas Morning News and the other papers up there, uh, no protest is allowed either. We won't issue permits for you to come and stand at the picket line with an alternate view we're going to shovel the official story out. This is North Korea. Well, I'm going back to my hometown where I was born for the 50th anniversary coming up. I will be there exercising the evil First Amendment, whether you give me a permit or not. I don't get permits when I march out of the Capitol and get in the lawmakers' faces and tell them what I think on the TSA or you name it. And so I'm certainly not going to go with hat in hand. What a joke. I'm going to be there exposing. You know, they have hundreds of national scientific polls. You've seen them out there. On average, less than 10% believe the official JFK story. But we're not going to be getting off into JFK today, but I'll uh, bring that up with, um, with Jim just briefly uh, when, he, when he joins us. Now, all of that said, we're going to get into the huge developments in Egypt, the economy and the bond market. Uh, we're going to look at the out-of-control police state, uh, from license plate scanning cameras to police locking down whole neighborhoods now for any reason they want, saying they're going in everyone's houses without warrants. This is the soft martial law being phased in. All of that and more will be discussed here on the broadcast today. But the first thing I want to talk about is the awakening that's happening. And I just kind of gave a prelude or a prelude uh, to that a few minutes ago, talking about how many people I talked to on the streets of England. 
I've done live feeds on the streets of London, just walking down the street, doing a live feed in the dark at night in London and people hear my voice and every third or fourth person comes over and shakes my hand. Or I'm in broad daylight at Big Ben down on the uh, bridge uh, over the uh, big uh, river there. And people saw the live feed as dozens and dozens and dozens of people walking by were stopping and shaking my hand. That shows the level of people that are aware of what's going on out there. By the way, that live stream is saved on our Ustream account for anybody that wants to go see that. So take heart, there's a huge awakening happening. And it's not just my listeners. I tune in, just as many of you do, to other mainstream talk radio, alternative radio, uh, C-SPAN, you name it. And now when I watch C-SPAN, the majority of the callers on Washington Journal or other shows where after the interview, they'll take 10, 15 minutes of calls, almost half the calls, sometimes more, sometimes the majority, the vast majority, I've seen it where 15 phone calls in a row are anti-New World Order, anti-authoritarian awake. But it's, it's normally close to half call in who are informed and involved and put these corrupt politicians and bureaucrats on the hot seat on a host of issues from fast and furious to open borders to our government funding al-Qaeda uh, to the NSA warrantless spying. America is awake. I want the rest of the world to know that. You've got a large segment of people that are in comas and have no idea of what's going on. They'll probably never wake up. But they're spectators. They don't count. We have giant numbers of people who are informed and love liberty, who are now awake. And that's why the power structure is trying to clamp down, because they know they're in deep trouble. Now, that said, today, I was listening to talk radio out of Dallas and heard callers across the board criticizing the power structure, both political parties, and talking about offshore banks that have taken this country over. And the show wasn't even, that I heard for 20 minutes in the car, wasn't even talking about those topics. That's all callers wanted to talk about. Then I was driving in to do this radio show in my own South Austin studios and heard our local affiliate, 590, that's in North Austin, heard the local host who's on before me take more than 10 calls in a row before I had to get out of the car and come here and get ready for the show. And every one of them said, I don't trust the government. I don't trust the police. I don't trust the system anymore. And they would all apologize and say, I'm a big Republican conservative law and order person who used to worship the police. Listeners listening on 590 probably heard it. Every caller I counted, it was 10 in a row. I sat, I drove over here for, you know, 20 something minutes, sat in the car for about 10 listening to it, had already gotten ready for the show at home. So I came in here like 15 minutes before airtime. So I listened to about 30 minutes of it or so, maybe 25. And every caller, every caller, every caller, even though the host, and that's their right, was kind of saying, hey, maybe the police need to be able to come in your house if they want to surveil the neighbors. Uh, you know, maybe that's a good thing, playing devil's advocate. And not one caller called in and agreed with it. And these people were all saying they've awoken. The government's corrupt. It's out of control. And you know what? That's true. But it doesn't mean that you can't trust the police themselves on average. It means that people understand those on top are bad. And they see the abuses. Everyone sees the arrogant, imperial behavior out of government and big corporations and the sleeping giant that is America is awakening. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. 
Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. By the way, I'm going to have some breaking news. This is breaking world news in just a moment. If any press would like to scoop us, I will give you the intelligence, the information. You can go to the video on Infowars.com and give us no credit and break this. Because uh, I've only got one writer on staff uh, on Sunday. And that's a Don Salazar. I know he's listening right now. Maybe maybe he'll want to write about this. Uh, or Paul Watson will when I've got like seven or eight writers working on Monday mornings. Uh, but but this, will be, this will be big breaking news. And I've gone and checked when I saw this uh, this morning on DrudgeReport.com and I saw it on Infowars.com. And I went and read through the news. Uh, and they said that it was Muslim Brotherhood they thought that was beheading and throwing people off roofs and beating nonviolent people's brains out in uh, Alexandria, uh, Egypt, and uh, Cairo, Egypt. 
Well, I uh, stilled the video. And we're going to tell you what that video shows in a moment. And by the way, anyone could look at this and tell you who it is. And every time I see this behavior, these people are waving this particular black flag. We're going to talk about this particular black flag in just a moment and what it signifies. Uh, oh, and those squares full of millions of people now against the Egyptian military, they're flying a particular black flag as well. I noticed that this morning at the head of the demonstration. Let me just break the news right now, and then I'm going to show viewers uh, the actual flag and video for, for, for InfoWars listeners. I'll tell you how to go to InfoWars and uh, read the article. It's the article about uh, protesters from the Daily Mail throw uh, people off of a roof. It's protesting to throw them off a roof. Wow, I, I didn't. I, I can go throw people I disagree with off a roof, and when the cops show up, I'll say I'm just protesting. But but it's interesting. Who are those protesters? Well, they've got big beards, big black beards, and shaved heads, and they're waving black flags behind them that say in Arabic, Al Qaeda. And you can search the Al-Qaeda flag and see bin Laden with it. And then you can compare it. It's the exact same flag. It is Al-Qaeda that our government is openly. It's not like they're part of it. And, oh, there might be some Al-Qaeda in there. We're trying to. No, no. The group our government's trying to put in power all over the world is the real hardest of the hard Al-Qaeda. I've even seen press reports implying that the secularists are the ones killing people. That is not what's going on. We're going to break that down and show the video. Anybody can watch it, infowars.com forward slash show. We're streaming free video to everybody who's a radio listener. If you want to go see it. If not, you can also just go to infowars.com. Egyptian violence, gangs throw rivals to their deaths from the top of buildings, the Daily Mirror. Other press, uh, I saw actually had the headline about protesters throw people from rooftops. Uh, they're a special type of protester. We're going to be going over that. But first, let me get back to what I was uh, mentioning earlier for people. We have a Mike Adams story that went viral from naturalnews.com upon infowars.com yesterday titled Militarized Police Gone Wild Across America. And it just gives examples from the last few weeks of, oh, somebody shot off fireworks? We're locking down the whole neighborhood and searching your, all your houses without warrants. Somebody shot guns in the air. We're locking down the whole neighborhood and calling in SWAT teams and interrogating everyone without warrants. Oh, uh, we want to commandeer your house to see if the neighbor ever yells at his wife. We want a tactical advantage. That's like a magic word. You're supposed to open your wrist up and like, you know, feed them your, your, your life's blood if they use the word tactical. And we're supposed to get all sycophantically creamy-eyed over that. Uh, but uh, Nevada police face rare Third Amendment lawsuit for forced commandeering of homes. And I heard the debate on the radio today here locally about, well, is it unconstitutional? Yeah, it's called the Third Amendment to the Evil Bill of Rights. Uh, and it says no soldier, and that's what our police have been turned into, the paramilitary forces that have been trained that, quote, we are all insurgents. That's Washington Post headline a few weeks ago, or I guess a month ago, was uh, the police are trained, the general public are insurgents. Well, well, yeah, and then they come back from, from Iraq and come back from Afghanistan, and they're either hired by the police force and called heroes, or they're not and then called the number one terror threat. And I don't agree that our returning veterans are the number one terror threat. But a lot of the unstable ones on record are actually hired into the force. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house. But that's just the Bill of Rights and what George Washington supported. I mean, that's all that radical extremist, you know. I mean, everybody knows the new American flag is a black boot being licked. Uh, it goes on. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war but in a manner to be prescribed by law. So they've got to pass an emergency law specifically saying in this area, you know, uh, the, you know the, the redcoats have taken over, so we've got to like have the military go in and fight house to house and commandeer this house or this church. Because people in Europe had always gone through this. The police just coming in your house without warrants, the military coming in your house without warrants, 
the Lord coming to your house without a warrant. So they had the Magna Carta in 1215, the basis of all modern common law, Bill of Rights, Constitution, the reason America has been prosperous, the reason you could own a business and not have some El Jefe come shake you down like Mexico or North Korea or some Don like Italy or some Lord like they had in England come shake you down and say, by the way, I want your daughter. I want your food. I want to put me up in your house. The Magna Carta said the lowest peasant in a lean to, this is actually what the Magna Carta says, the lowest peasant in a dirt tent, the king cannot enter his house without a warrant, with an oath or affirmation, was specifically what they're looking for. And by the way, the witnesses that swear they saw something, guess what happens to them if they get caught swearing out a fake oath or affirmation and you get to face your accuser? Guess what you face under Magna Carta and then through other common laws between five to 20 years in prison? And if you made a false claim where the charge could be death, the penalty on the person, guess what you got for a false claim? You got, you bet, it begins with a big D. Death, 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 death to come in someone's house without a warrant. Death. That's the foundation of all liberty, and that's why we have all this prosperity, because people could build things and not have it stolen by the state, the most dangerous thing in history. And this religion in America now of worshiping the state that is now going Going bad like rotten milk, going out like rotten eggs, going out like you know what in church. Good, it's gone. And all of you that are bootlickers of the system, because I hear it constantly and think you're going to get power out of cozying up to it, you may for another short season, but it's coming to an end. Because I have seen it politically, I have seen it historically. That's why you see this attempt for this takeover. It's not going to work. It's going to backfire. The tighter they squeeze, the more resistance it will form. The people are awakening. And I want the police and the military to join us in the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and its root, the Magna Carta. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.